Hi everyone. If you've ever tried to meditate, you might have had the experience of finding that it can be quite hard to make your mind peaceful. You might find that there's a kind of constant chatter and just a constant kind of agitation of thoughts coming up and your mind wanting to kind of turn to different things and not wanting to settle down and, and be at peace. And that kind of comes about because there's this fundamental kind of existential anxiety or like existential agitation to being a living a living creature that's at the foundation of our minds and we tend to not be in touch with this that's it's so fundamental that the parts of our minds that we identify with they know what it's like to feel some level of anxiety and some level of peace and they kind of tune into that range and they say well I know what it's like to feel at peace you know sometimes I come home and I watch tv and I feel relaxed and at peace um, or sometimes I'm stressed out if I'm driving and someone you know cuts me off but what we're talking about here is something deeper where if that person was to actually observe their mind when they're watching television they'll notice that there's really there's not an actual kind of um, a true sense of peace there there's constant mind wandering constant thinking about what to do next and the only reason to think about what to do in the future is because of anxiety it's a form of fearfulness that everything's not going to be okay if you just surrender and are fully present and it makes sense for us as life forms that we have this kind of agitation at our core because as i've spoken about previously on this channel the universe the kind of physical universe moves towards increased disorder and to be a living system is to resist that trend and the only way to do that is to actively kind of agitate yourself into existence and kind of worrisomely keep yourself together with all these behaviors over time and so to find yourself here the kind of the cost of that is this this inheritance that's been kind of passed on through evolution of constant worrying and anxiety and and planning for the future instead of finding peace in the present and so if you go inwards and you meditate or you know during psychedelic states you can discover how deeply agitated all of our minds are uh, and if you think this doesn't apply to you then you're enlightened you know if you if you're really truly experienced none of this then you're a you know perfectly actualized um person who can switch off now if you if you like but um but for most of us there's this there's this anxiety whether we whether we know it or not and if you become interested in the nature of your own experience and the nature of reality this is a really core part of it and an incredibly relevant part of it for you as a conscious being and the you that feels agitated it is just the process of the agitation if you drop all of the worrying anxious planning if you fully let go of that and you fully surrender into the present what happens is the you disappears and there's just an unfolding reality there's just a single process and there's no james there's no ego identity in in the midst of it there's just the flow and what you do in those moments is you surrender you surrender to the way that reality is going because it's there's no place to kind of get out of the stream and just watch it go by peacefully you know this is why meditation you're not you're not usually trying to kind of clear your mind of thoughts you're trying to surrender and let go of all of the kind of anxious parts of of your being that you invent that cause you so much trouble and when the system lets go of all that there's this flow and you just go with whatever's happening you know if you're thirsty you'll instinctively drink you don't need to anxiously plan what to do next and this is this is the kind of ultimate wisdom when it comes to understanding what our situation is and how to and what you should do in that situation in the west people have toyed around philosophically with so many ideas without getting kind of deep into this kind of um what you'd probably call mysticism in the west 
getting deep into insight into the kind of fundamental structure of our experience here. Whereas in Eastern religions, especially in something like Taoism, there's a deep recognition of the kind of flowing nature of reality and the way that we are burdened with this desire to go against the flow because that's what's worked in the past evolutionarily for survival. And this is why if someone takes a psychedelic and then they go deep into their minds and they discover perhaps on the way to finding some kind of peace through some kind of ego death state, on the way they might notice just what a kind of cacophony of thoughts their mind is and that their inner monologue just won't shut up and they just can't find peace. And there's just this fundamental, fundamental anxiety. And so someone who has that experience comes away and they might look in the kind of Western canon and find it lacking. And then they will turn to something like Taoism or a lot of other kind of traditions in the East and find something there that's based in this kind of introspective um, insight through experience. And the insights are there in the, the writings and the teachings. And this is why we see this kind of, one of the main reasons we see this correspondence between psychedelics and Eastern religions. And the insights have been there in traditions in the West as well, but they've tended to be suppressed because Western religions got aligned with the state. Um, and so kind of the Gnostic, mystical aspects of say Christianity were, were quite aggressively suppressed. Um, that's probably for another video though, um, but there's an interesting story to tell that. But so it's worth knowing that even if you feel broadly at peace, like right now, this is a pretty peaceful situation to find myself in. If you start to meditate, you can notice that there's usually a, a new, deeper level of peace that can be found when you just surrender to what is.